<laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's working, it's working, it's working. Right? Oh, she's great. It's great working with artists on this because they're really you know, creative they and know engaging. How to exactly. So, yeah, it's a transparent LCD screen. Um, we do specialize in live. That is kind of our bread and butter. But uh, when there isn't a live show, you can also do a lot of really cool pre-recorded content with it too. So this is what we call kiosk mode, where you have it set up as a general menu. So with Ontario Creates, we have a bunch of Canadian artists here. It's kind of serving as a holographic jukebox where anyone can come up. Oh, I'm a huge fan of Julie Black. Let me listen to a song of hers. Seven Day Fool, great song, hit that, and all of a sudden, Julie Black has joined us. And now, as you can see, we can incorporate QR codes, hashtags, all that, where you scan that, learn more, uh, takes it to the artist page for this one, so uh, really, we're just looking to make our Canadian artists more accessible here, and uh, it's been a great use case for us. Um, uh, so, I guess, can you tell me a little bit about just for sure. For sure. Um, so the company's name is Art. We've been doing live holograms for about 10 years now. We are a Toronto based company. Um, we have a variety of products. We are the innovators for doing live holograms. We got some patents around the methodology of how we capture, beam someone to one location to another. Um, this product's our newest one. It's a capsule. Um, as I said, it's a transparent LCD display. Uh, we can capture a person at one location, beam them anywhere in the world with less than a second of latency. You'll see there's a camera at the top there. So whoever's being beamed out, they can see the audience, tell them how good they're looking, field Q&A questions, all that good stuff. We got speakers set up there, but we can always plug into external ones as well. And then on the capture side of things, it's kind of just your standard green screen capture studio. So if I was being beamed out somewhere, I'd be standing on a white backdrop. I would have a 4K camera directly ahead of me and then a monitor right below that, which would be my audience monitor. And then it's really just plug in the earbuds and a mic and you're good to go, which is great. We also have a mesh product. That was our initial product that we use. We like to use that for still large scale events. The idea being you put the mesh on uh, stage, audience is far back. They can't actually see the mesh screen. All they see is a hologram. And the cool one with that, display is we can actually take people from different locations and put them on the same screen so it looks like they're talking sitting right beside one another um, have you been on the other side of it oh i've done both so i do that's when people come in for a demo we want to you know we specialize in live so we always have a team member beam out okay. do the engagement i've done it for trade shows which is a lot of fun too and my favorite is when we set it up, if I'm sitting there live, I like to call out people in the audience and get them really to come over. And we did an activation last year with Condoleezza Rice. And her statement, which I think is totally true, what she loved was within a minute, she forgot that she wasn't actually in the room. And what she said is like, technology is at its best when it fades into the background and lets us have these human connections. And that's exactly what we're trying to do. Uh, yeah, I thought it was, it was really cool slash funny when uh, Meg was in this box. And she's like, okay, I see you, I see you, I see you. Oh, exactly. Um, I was like, I didn't really realize that the time she was around the camera and that she would you know, be able to actually interact. A hundred percent. I thought it was more of like a one way. Well, I, I totally agree with you. I always say there's two wow moments. One is when the hologram appears, and the second is when there's some kind of interaction happening. So, always encourage whoever's beaming out to do that. Music, musicians, you don't really need to give them much guidance. You just say, hey, you're going to be in the room. They're going to want to do it anyway. Which is great. Uh, so, I mean, you know, like you said, you do Um, I guess, what 
Yeah, well, the whole point of the company was we're not going to replace all live meetings, all that, but high in demand people, we make them far more accessible. And fortunately, with the launch of this new capsule device, there's a lot more that we can do with this. So traditionally, we were more corporate clients, so we work a lot in healthcare, teaming in physicians for physician training. Um, they can host do their PowerPoint presentation remotely as if they're actually there, bring in panels, all that good stuff. But we're seeing a lot of growth, especially with this as a permanent display product, where connecting global offices, so now your CEO doesn't need to travel all the time, and thus we're cutting emissions, which is a big goal for the company, to help with sustainability. And then... Exactly, exactly. Well, for most companies, corporate travel is their biggest carbon emissions by far. And there's a lot of companies that have committed by 2030 to be net zero emissions. And I think we're offering a great solution to that. In the education sphere, I'm really excited because, so we've set up a couple of these at our, in Canada actually, at some First Nation schools as well, where they're not getting the access to some of the top educators. Um, and so by setting up this on the reservations, we can actually bring all these educators to them, which has been another really cool application. Um, I'll show you a little bit. We also, as I was showing the other group, Retail is going to be a big one for us as well moving forward. Um, as you can see, this is fully touch screen. So if we have a 3D model here, I can actually zoom in, uh, zoom out, manipulate it, take it back and forth. And so you can have your whole product line here. You could have a menu set up where you're going through. Okay, I want to see that in blue. I want to see it in yellow. All that good stuff. And uh, I like the you know color changing too. Oh yeah, exactly. That was really cool. No. I, nope. Like I said, I, I wasn't expecting this. Walked in, blew my mind. Like I saw the, you know, like the monitor and, and everything and the microphone. And I was, oh, this is just like a really cool like display thing. Like that's, I wonder what this is going to be. Yeah. You know, um, it was not expecting a person to pop up. So um, I didn't know about the call. I don't have any questions prepared or anything. Um, I guess. Is there, is there anything that you're looking forward to in the future? Um, yeah. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. Um, well, so I'll answer that question. One thing I'll do, a little humble brag, I think the coolest activation we did, other than, of course, this with Ontario Creates, is last year we uh, beamed out President Zelensky from the Ukraine into four major tech conferences happening simultaneously across Europe. And so being able to use technology to spread his message about fighting against evil, I think was really, really cool. Where the tech is going, I likely see that um, the next big step, I think, with our product and we're already in the works is integrating AI. So using AI, not only can we have maybe your founder comes up and you ask it 200 questions, hey, can you tell me a little bit about the business, all that. We're also looking at virtual concierges where instead of having a person there, you do a check-in with a hologram of that. So 
that's coming in the very near future too, which I'm really excited about. Thank you for There he is, there's the man. Yeah, No, thank you for I'm so glad that you're excited about it. That's what we're looking for. It is pretty cool, so no problem at all.